so last time I roasted your setup. And hopefully, if your setup was in there and it wasn't the best looking, let's be honest, you gotta start somewhere. Let's hope you didn't take it too harshly or too seriously. It was all fun and games. Now, I know that Algancha has a really big community, especially with big content creators and just people who are all out when it comes to having their setups. So I'm gonna take a look and see what kind of overkill setups they have in the Elgato community. So right here, let's take a look. It's called Flex Zone. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna start from bottom to top. Yu-Gi-Oh, I think this is called, this is, <laughs> you guys know how much I love lights and you also love or know how much I love, you know, just a beautiful looking setup. And this isn't an exception. It doesn't have complete symmetry. It does have that vertical monitor on the side. It would be cool if it had another one, but you know, I'm nitpicking at this point because these are really nice setups. The Ikea desk and the drawers here with the suspension arms, I've got the same thing. It seems to be a pretty popular solution, especially when you have your computer on the desk. By the way, I haven't seen these at all. Like I haven't previewed this. I don't even know what to expect. So this is my genuine reaction to this. Looks like it's got some, the custom uh, keyboard here with some key custom keys. I did a custom Valorant keyboard giveaway a while ago and it looks very much like that actually. Uh, it's got a mount on the wall here to mount all of your gear. I have sticky things that are falling off in the control of foul here, so uh, maybe I should try this solution instead. I find it kind of interesting that people have their microphones like over their monitor and out to their mouth. I don't, I can't tell how close this will be, but I would assume it would be relatively close since it's kind of booming over the, the monitor here. But interesting that people choose that. I wouldn't personally wouldn't choose that. A custom keyboard here. I can't tell which one this is, but I love the coiled cable here, which was which would look pretty nice. This is the Razer. I'm gonna guess the Razer Viper. It looks very similar to that. Actually, it looks like a higher mouse than mine. Mine's the Razer Viper Ultimate. It's wireless. This one, I mean, I guess it could be wireless. It could just be plugged in. Who knows? Razer. Oh wow, this is a good setup. It's interesting. I, I, it's kind of cool though to have a vertical monitor here, but these speakers, these look expensive. He's got the extension for the Elgato Wave mic, uh, the Wave 3, which I haven't really seen people use that. I didn't think there was really a need for it, but I guess, I guess there is, who knows? Nice, beautiful looking keyboard. I, I don't see anyone gaming on this, but this is a Logitech mouse. He's got a really good mouse. The Focus Scarlet, it looks like for his audio interface. I don't see a mic plugged in. Oh, well, of course, because there's the Elgato mic, obviously. This is Elgato's Discord. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people sucking up to Elgato. I, I don't do that at all. Cap. <laughs> Hotshot Henry. Whoa. <laughs> Five screens. This is obviously a dual PC setup. And I can't, what is this? I don't can't tell what these are. These are square lights of some kind for something. This is very unique. This might be a top-down camera. I can't really tell. Voice meter banana. I'm not not sure which monitors these are on. I'm assuming this is the streaming side, this lap, this uh, monitor and this monitor for the stream PC. I'm assuming this is a three monitor setup with his, his main computer. Gosh, half of this gear, I don't even know what it is. VR headset, Rode, this is the Rodecaster Pro, which I've got. It's a really nice piece of gear when you want to add more than one microphone into your computer. Even got one of these electric ball thingamajigs, I don't know what you call it, but I love like, it's a black room so you can control his lighting completely, which is really nice to be able to do. I don't know what's behind the camera that's taking the photo right now. It would be nice to see what the result looks like. Haunter has a pretty decent setup here. Nice PC. Again, it looks like the, the same PC that me and DJ Zreek gave away. It's got a different GPU and cables and everything, but it's very similar. Probably a pretty popular uh, computer case, actually. Elgato Keylight Air mounted to the wall. That's new. I haven't thought about that. That's not a bad idea. I do have one mounted above the, uh, what do you call it? The flag here, but that's kind of uh, clamped onto a piece of wood. It's not tied or screwed into the wall because I just... My landlord would kill me. <laughs> Tomorrowland, this is a very optimized setup and very, very simple, which simple can often be way better than having this whole bancy, bancy? Whole bunch of fancy looking stuff. Really good monitors. I, this is the, uh, I can't even tell what brand this is. It's hard to read it, but it looks like the same type of monitors. I love like symmetry and the same type of monitors on either side. I've got a flat Predator monitor and a curved Viotech monitor, which I want to change uh, just because I don't, I don't want to have different monitors, but this is really nice. Need a bit of cable management, but you know, there was one, one point where my cable management wasn't good. So, Mr. Clouds. 
Ooh, I like the color scheme of this. Always green setups I really love, like with, even if you like you have the, the green plants and the green lighting, the green desktop background. This is really cool. Got a Nintendo Switch, the Shure MV7, two key lights, which is nice. I've got a face cam. It's got a decent PC setup. Got some water, stay hydrated. The foam board, this is a, looks like a door or maybe a closet. It's kind of completely closed off that space. I guess he doesn't really need it. Nice, nice, decent setup. The interesting aspect ratio here. Now he kind of did a wide view. I guess you could kind of see behind what the camera is going to be looking at so you can see the result of what this camera is looking at. Four monitors. Whew, that's a bit excessive, but that's cool. He's got a GoXLR Mini and a regular GoXLR, two mouse. Okay, so this is a dual PC setup. And I guess he's going to have a stream in the background or something, or maybe, I don't know, whatever. But he's got some guitars. I wish I could play guitar. Wow, looking pretty good. Indeedy. Ooh. This is super optimized, like full on gaming experience here on the main monitor. And I guess use one of the one of the side monitors here for OBS and I guess anything else. But again, with the mic above here, this is, seems pretty far away from which, where your mouth is going to be. Obviously, you can see you can pull it down closer. I'm not sure if that's what I'm assuming. This is a she I, I get she vibes, she vibes from this picture. So I could be wrong. Who knows? But this is, I'm assuming she pulls down the mic when she sits down. Nova Pixel. This looks really nice. I can't, this looks like a Lumix camera from a distance. Um, but a, a laptop setup you don't see very often with a, a main monitor here, which is, this is really nice. The, the blue and the green kind of complements each other, it looks like. Can't tell what light this is, but this is clever. I want to get one of these lights. Like it's got a Google Nest or something. Okay, Google. Did I set off your Google? <laughs> If I say it off your Google, let me know in the comments below. I've done it in the past before, and I got quite a lot of responses about it. <laughs> Naggy. Whew. This has got some good RGB. You know I love a good RGB setup. Xbox, X, and... Uh, is this an X? I can't tell. X or S? Whatever. Xbox, PlayStation 5. Wow, I don't know how you got your hands on a PlayStation 5. This case is pretty thick and beefy. Pretty thick! Drex God. Oh. Three monitor setup. Go XLR. Got some G Fuel there. Hmm, I kind of I kind of prefer Dubby. It doesn't leave that kind of crusty chalk flavor behind. You know, use use Frost 10 for 10% off at checkout. Always find a way to plug <laughs> your gamer fuel. <laughs> this is about gaming, so you know. Who know? Ow! <laughs> I smashed my finger between the the Dubby thing and the, the glass. So the Elgato LED sign. This is. This is actually a really nice way to, to have it with the sound panels around and some greenery. I have mine up there and you've seen it in some past videos, but this looks kind of nice. It's giving me some ideas. Now this is a serious custom water cooled loop here. Wow, there's no, like, this is a very interesting, it's not even enclosed in a case. It's just like out there. Red fluid, that's really cool. I wanted to get red fluid. I have red tubes on mine. This is a really, oh, that's the same one. This is a really nice looking setup though. Super custom. I love the custom stuff. Oh, here it is again. Oh, this is without the water cooling. Oh, so he put it, he posted it before and after you put a, a custom water cooling solution here. So very nice. Water cooled is always way more optimized than air cooled. Okay, Josh has a really nice setup. I love the, the kind of muted uh, kind of gray green look on the desktop, uh, as well as similar to the, the color scheme here with his setup, you know, black shelves and kind of like a brown wood desk and black peripherals. Got some cable management sleeve here, it looks like, for all his cables, which is actually a really nice way to do. It's got a Shure SM7B with a Elgato low profile mic arm, two Elgato key light airs, but this is a very, very, like, not basic, because some of this gear is pretty expensive, but super minimal, which I love minimal setups. And this is a really good looking setup, like pleasing to the eye. Mar Pisa, this looks like a, oh, okay, so, this is a really nice example of how you can use the Agato foot pedal, which is right down here and you can change your scenes while, I guess, face cam down angle or top top angle looking down for your cooking. It's a good cooking stream setup. This is pretty excessive though. I don't know if I'd have a full setup like this at my kitchen, but it's a really nice way to, to do a kitchen stream or a cooking stream. Nero, this is really nice. A big desk tabletop. Doesn't have the separations between the IKEA cabinet and the, the tabletop. Um, but <laughs> these are really huge speakers. Maybe 
push them back a bit on the table, gives you a bit more room in the front and uh, they're not so obvious and in your face. I, can't, I feel like having the speakers in front takes a bit away from the setup experience. Jeez, this is like a really good looking setup here. The Cyber Sniper, whoa. I don't know how high this is off the table, but it feels like if I'm looking at the monitor here, I'm gonna be looking up like this at my monitors. I feel like my neck's gonna hurt from that, but I could be wrong. So this is a really good looking setup. Got some RGB on the, the mouse pad here, which, geez, like I wish I could just have all this RGB. This is really nice. RGB on the headphones. I'll go to Wave Mic, Wave 3. Okay, single PC setup. He's got it on carpet. Okay, first thing you need to know about having a desktop or any computer of any kind on a carpet from the fans spinning, it's gonna generate static on the kind of shattered carpet. I don't, what do you call it? Shattered carpet? But anyways, on, a, on any carpet for any reason, it's gonna generate that friction in the air and generate that static which could cause a shock and completely destroy your computer. Don't put it on carpet. That's a big no-no. Command shift. This is crazy. What are this? There's no specs here. It doesn't say what specs. This is a really beautiful case and a really beautiful custom water loop it looks like here. This is this big piece of hose going all the way around here. Oh, that's going to the fans and then going back into the cooler. Okay. Well, oh my gosh, this is really beautiful. Some RGB RAM. I need to get some RGB RAM. I just have some plain old RAM sticks because I have 128 gigabytes of it. And to get RGB, 128 gigs of RAM could be pretty pricey. I think it's like 700 bucks or something like five, 700 bucks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments how much 120 gigabytes of RAM costs. RGB RAM, because geez, it's a lot of money. Oh wait, I know Aaron. So Aaron, TLD Academy. So I've played some Valorant with him. I didn't even know he was in the Discord community. I finally get to see what his setup looks like. I believe he does this in the basement, but he's like, you should check out his stream. He's got some really cool RGB lights and you can control his his stream and his colors from uh, Twitch with channel points. You can do some similar stuff with my stream as well, but this is a really good looking stream. I can't remember what microphone he has. As some, I think it's a blue something, I can't tell, but big monitor on the top, side monitor in portrait mode, I guess for chat and maybe OBS, his main screen here. He does a lot of Photoshop editing, which means he's got the palette where, I don't know if they rebranded, they did some type of rebrand. I wonder if they're still called palette. Anyway, it's got some like hotkey stuff, but you know, that's where the Elgato Stream Deck should come in. Top down angle looks like with the Elgato face cam and he's got some DSLR here, three lights. This is a lot of good lighting, Elgato foot pedal. I think he got this after watching my video. Aaron, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments what prompted you to get the Elgato foot pedal because I remember you asked me a question about it. And this is a beautiful looking setup, dude. I really love it. And I think that's a really good spot to end it off. Like we saw some serious overkill setups in this video. If you guys are interested in more of this kind of stuff, subscribe. Let me know in the down, in the down comments below. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what type of video you think I should do next on reviewing stream setups or overkill setups or potato setups, roasting your setups, which I've already done. You should check that out in the top right in the cards here. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Leave a like. It takes no effort and is free. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great.